everyone in this video we will be solving a problem climbing the leader leaderboard in hacker rank the problem statement is we will be given an array of all the scores that player have scored in a particular arcade game and a list of scores that a new player have scored we need to return the rank this new player has earned based on the scores the two important constraints that we need to remember is the existing leaderboard rank or the array rank that is given to us is going to be in the descending order and the players score that we need to rank are going to be in the ascending order these two details is going to be vital in coming up with a solution let's look at a sample input that is given to us so this is the ranks of all the previous players that have played and if you rank those players it would look something like this so first rank goes to two players who scored 100 rank 2 is for the player who scored 50 rank 3 is for the player who scored 40 and then 20 gets rank 4 and then 10 gets rank 5 we have an array player shows us the score that the new player earned which is 5 25 50 and 120 now if we place these values in this ranked array after the first turn where the player scored 5 it is the lowest across all the scores hence the rank is going to be 6 after 5 player score was 25 his or her rank is now 4 because it is greater than 20 but less than 40 if we go to the third time or the third game the new player earned 50 which is greater than the score 40 so its corresponding rank was updated to 2 as it matches to one of the player with the score 50 and rank 2 and the last attempt the player scored 120 which is highest of all the scores so far hence the rank is 1 so for each game we need to collect the corresponding ranks and return it in the list of integer so our output will look something like this starting from rank 6 the player went to rank 1 i hope you were able to understand this problem statement now let's switch to whiteboard and talk about how this can be solved um, before we dive into the solution i want to highlight four different scenarios that could appear between the scores the first one is the player score is greater than the maximum score that any player have ever scored so in that case the rank will always be one because the player beat everyone else if the score is between a certain band then the rank has to be equal to the lower one because if my score is 20 and i have two scores already available 40 and 10 so this 20 will take the rank of the player who scored 10 and the rank of 10 will be incremented or it will take the next spot hence this new player will get the rank of the score lower than that the next is if it is equal to a certain score in that case the new player will share the rank for example if i already have a player who scored 20 and the new player also scored 20 the first player who scored 20 has a rank of 4 the new player will also get the rank of 4 because now they share the same score so they have to share the same rank and the last is if it is minimum then the new rank is going to be the maximum rank plus 1 if the minimum score so far is 5 and its corresponding rank is 3 and let's say a new player is scoring only one this player will get the rank of four i hope you were able to understand these four scenarios now let's talk about how we can iterate through the array and identify the relation between the player's score and the old scores <clears throat> one simplest approach is a brute force approach where we will iterate through all of the scores that the new player earned and try to find the relation between the new score and the current ranks and this will be based on the four scenarios that we just talked about for example 
I start my iteration, so my new score is 5. And if I iterate through all of these ranks, this new score falls under the category of less than minimum. So in that case, it will get the rank of the minimum plus 1. So here, the minimum rank so far is 5 plus 1. So the result will be 6. Now let's look at the next value, which is 25. So now this 25, it falls between two scores, 40 and 20. And because it falls between a certain range, it should take the rank of the lower value. So the rank for the score 20 is, is 4, which will be the new rank for this new score. So the first rank was 6, the next is 4. Similarly, we will continue the iteration for the next two and identify the corresponding ranks and add it to the result variable. So with this solution, our time complexity is O of M into N, where M is the number of new player scores and N is the number of ranks that we have. The reason being is for every player, for every score, we are iterating through all of these ranks. Hence, our time complexity is a bit expensive and our space complexity is O of 1. As we are not creating any additional collection to hold a certain ranks. Now this is not a scalable solution given our time complexity is huge. Now let's think about how we can optimize this to get a better time complexity. Rather than running the iteration on all of the ranks for each player score, we can limit that iteration based on the band where it falls. For example, we can start the iteration on the players but within each iteration we should have a nested loop which will iterate through the ranks but only until a certain condition if the ranks score is greater than or equal to the player score if this scenario is true we should not continue the inner iteration and jump out of it the reason being is we have all the information that we need to calculate the ranks based on this two information. If the player's score is greater, then to get the correct rank, we need to try a different score. Let's try this out with a couple of examples to make it simpler. So I'll record four information. The player's score, rank score, the rank scores corresponding rank, the, play, the score that we are looking at, and the new rank for the player. Like I mentioned earlier, we will iterate through the score of the player. So starting with i is equal to 0, the player score is 5. And the nested loop on the ranks will start from the end. The reason being is, the player score are in ascending order, but the rank is in descending order. So it doesn't make sense to begin from the start of the ranks all the way to the end. We will start from the back. So my j will be length minus 1. So in this case, it is going to be 6. So the player score at that moment is 10. This is the minimum score and we have the minimum score by the player as well. Now the corresponding rank for the score 10 is 5. Now based on those four conditions, we need to compare 5 and 10. 5 is less than 10. So it falls under the category of less than minimum at this moment. So we need to take the rank of this player and increment it by 1. So the new rank at this moment will be 6. And I will increment my i. So the new value of i will be 1. We don't need to touch j because I could have another score, let's say 6, which is still less than 10. So we cannot touch j or rank pointer yet. With the next iteration, my new score is 25. My current rank score is 10. 25 is greater than 10. I cannot say this is the highest, nor I can say that this is falling under a band whose lower end is 10. So I will decrement my j in this case. So my j will become 5 and my i will still be the same. So when my j is decremented to 5, so the, my new rank score will become 20. Now comparing 20 and 25, 25 is still higher. So again, 
I will decrement my j to 4. So with 4, I am looking at 40. Comparing the two new values, so 25 and 40. Given 25 is less than 40, the rank for this player is going to be the rank for 40 plus 1. For 40, the corresponding rank is 3. So the rank for score 25 is 4. And because we found the rank, I will increment my i to 2. The new player score is 50. Comparing it with 40, 50 is greater. So I will now decrement my j and check for another range. So the new value of j will be 3. Its corresponding value again is 40. The same situation. So I will decrement even further. I will go to 2. So the new value is now 50 and its corresponding rank is 2. Between 50 and 50, because the two are equal and based on the condition that we just talked about earlier, when the scores are same, the rank will also be same. So the rank here will be 2. So I'll append the new rank 2 to my result and I will increment my i. So now my i is pointing to 3. The corresponding value is 105. Comparing it with my current rank score, so 105 and then 50. 105 is greater, so I will decrement my j. So it's now pointing at 1. Corresponding value is 100 and the rank is 1. Because 105 is still greater, I will even decrement my j value to 0. Corresponding value is still 100. 105 is still greater than that. So now here, because I am at j is equal to 0, which means I am already comparing the highest score that previous players have scored, but the new player score is still greater, this new player will get the rank 1. And this is going to be my output. So with this solution, my time complexity is O of n log m where n is the number of new player score and m is the number of ranks or previous scores that we have recorded and our space complexity is o of 1. Let me show you how this can be implemented using c -sharp. Here is my c -sharp solution. I start by initializing this result variable which is of type list of integer which will hold the new ranks of the player. Then I am doing some minor cleanup to so converting the ranked uh, array into a hash set and then back to an array so that I can use the index of each score as the rank when I am assigning ranks to the new player. Then I start this for loop where j pointer is starting from 0 and it will iterate through all of the scores scored by the new player. For each score, I start this while loop which will run until I don't find a rank or my i is greater than or equal to 0. The first condition is to check if the player's score is less than the score the previous player have scored. If this is true, it means the new player's rank is going to be 1 more than the previous player. So I am adding i plus 2. Because i is pointing to that index to get its corresponding rank, I anyways have to do i plus 1. Because the rank is 1 more than the previous player, I am doing i plus 2. And because I found a rank, I am setting this variable rank found as true. So that we can jump out of the while loop. If the current player's score and the previous player's score is the same, it means that they need to share the rank. So I am just taking the rank and appending it to the result. So i plus 1. And then setting rank found is equal to true. If either of the two conditions are not met, it means we need to look at the different player score from the ranked variable. So I'm decrementing the pointer i. Once the code jumps out of this while loop, I'm checking if the rank is found or not. The only condition where rank will not be found is when the player score is highest than the maximum score any other player have ever scored. So in that case, I am adding 1 to my result. Once the iteration is complete, I am returning the result variable. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you were able to understand my explanation and this logic. This source code is available on my GitHub repository. 
the link will be there in the description below feel free to check that out and i will see you in the next video thank you